What up, y'all? I've been gone a little minute. Some things have happened. I caught COVID for a short period of time. I went on vacation with my wife. We had a blast. I also got this. The Hyrulean sword the master sword of my boy link as well as this little mantle for it which is pretty dope but today what we're going to be doing is we're taking a look at the final trailer for black myth wukong that's scheduled to come out august 20th 2024 there's a couple of new bits of information that i found out throughout the course of the first video that i put out about it as well as information that you guys have been giving me in the comment section the first thing that i want to correct is in one of the videos i mentioned that the four guys that were standing in the the mist that we couldn't fully see were monks that was a mistake on my part i thought they were were buddhist monks similar to like what we've seen with like the boot the destroyed buddhist statues that was there they're the four heavenly kings somebody explained that to me in the comments section i'm talking your head off there's a bunch of other stuff i might chop some of this up and put it towards the end not sure yet but we are here to see black myth wukong the final trailer let's get it game science the science for the game. Is that a tree clapping? That tree looked like its frames was dropping though a little bit. I like that the fire dragon staff. Look at the fire. I think that's a transformation. Yup, that's another transformation right there too. Fighting against the dragon. Ah, I like how he leaped over that giant. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Actually, and please note, please, please 100% note, this is a reaction. If you want to see the full video, it will be in the description down below where you can click on it. You can watch it by yourself, but I'm gonna look at some things that I'm noticing, right? So this right here, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Sekiro. There's like uh, these people who drain like the life force from you and like the simple temple or something like that. I'm trying to remember the name of the place that's like in the divine realm before you fight against the dragon. It, this kind of reminds me of that, especially like what, what he's doing, even though he's like exploding them when I'm guessing poison. It reminds me of like that process as you see, I'm guessing those are the 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 what would you call it the monies of the game like your ruins your all of that that's coming into you that you're probably gonna have to spend on your skill tree that that reminds me heavily of that yo you can throw snowballs at people all right cool this spider might make me put down the game for a bit i ain't gonna hold and it looks like I can see another one in the back too. So this ain't even a boss. This is a basic spider. Now, if it's that, uh, uh, what's the name of old boy? I'm trying to remember the name of that demon spider that's in like Japanese or I don't even know if it's Japanese. I think it's just Asian folklore. It's like only, no, no, because it's called Oni. So it would be Japanese, but it's like Oni Guru or something like that. I Actually, I can't even remember the name, but it has like a, cow, a ox head or something like that, but a spider's body. And if it looks at you, it can insta kill you. If it, if it looked like that, I could probably look at it because it's like the mandibles with the spiders that normally get me, but this might make me rage cry. Yeah, that's gonna make me rage cry. I just looked right at it too. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna have to use my technique, my patented technique, look at the right. Use my peripheral vision to fight them, Jakes. <laughs> it's worked for me in a few other games before. I got it, bro. Dang, that's probably gonna be like a whole sequence of levels of them, Jakes, too. 
Oh, so we're getting a little bit more more story right here. Actually, right here, I wonder if this is him traveling between different realms. Because I wonder if they're going to do, like, the whole realm thing. You know what I mean? Like, I know you could do different areas and all that, but I know a lot of mythologies, they like to... They like to have different planes for where 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 beings exist. So, you know, humans have their own realms. The monsters have their own realms. Gods have their own realms. And then you have other things that have their own realm and all that. So I wonder if that's going to be something that they're going to do here. But I'm curious to see where this is going to go. There's a... Yokai monster. Hey yo, is that baby? What is that? What what are you? What are you and why? Why are your baby titties hanging out? Like what what am I? What are you? For a second, I was about to be like, is this like a, a monk or something? But I'm like, you're a little too young, buddy. Because he even got like the drooping ears and everything. Oh, I like that. And then you consume some of them into the gourd. Powers up the gourd. Or maybe it seals them away, away in the gourd. Because the board can be used as a training pack. Ho, 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 there, boy. You thought I missed that? Yeah, so he gained the. No, that was him gaining the skill. So, like, right here, you'll see it. So, boom. That's him transforming into the thing that he just consumed. And in the last video that I did, we saw the process of you gaining new transformations. You gotta fight against the thing that you want to transform into. And it seems like a lot of them are, are going to be, well, not a lot of them. It's only been two so far that I've noticed have been blue, but I, I see what they do. I, I respect it. But that wasn't what I was looking at. Bussin', bussin'. Well, you see how he dashed back and he transformed into a monk? Yeah, I, I I'm here for it. I do love the different beast cans that I'm seeing, though. I'm just calling them beast cans because, you know, they're humanoid animals. And that's the term that I normally see in most literature. Alright, that's creepy as I don't know what. Nah, I'm gonna have to tough it out with the spiders. I'm gonna have to tough it out. My arachnophobia, it comes second. I gotta beat this guy. I got to. I see what y'all are doing too. That was a nice combo. And then right here, these are the four heavenly kings. These are the four heavenly kings. So we getting a, a, a more of a close up of them than we we did when they was all shrouded in mist. And I was all the way off because I, I thought that each of them with the circles that they had behind them was Dows, but it seemed like he was the only one that had like one of those like things behind him. Whereas this person had an umbrella. I'm not sure what this dude had. Yeah. And I thought I knew who the four four kings were, but I don't know, but I don't know. I, I think just like my my knowledge of just Asian mythology has waned over the years. Cause I, I thought I, I would be able to recognize that, but I just I just didn't. That was crazy, but whoever gave me that information, I appreciate you, bro. But yeah, the game looks fantastic. Confront Destiny. 
on August 20th. Now, at this part, this is what I will say. First of all, game science, bring it home. That's all. That's my first thing I'm going to say. Game science, bring it home. Y'all worked on the game. Y'all slaved over the game for probably somewhere between five to seven years. The game looks fantastic. I, I noticed some like stutters and hitches, like just in the cutscenes of the game. But as long as that gameplay is fine, people will forgive stuff like that. Just bring it home. Make sure that you're working on patches and all that. If there are bugs in the game that that people would deem to be, you know, horrible, fix it. But yeah, other than that, I'm really looking forward to the game. It looks impressive. It looks like it will play impressive, just given the mechanics that I've seen of the game so far. And I'm really looking forward to it. An action adventure, fast pace style game with a few souls like elements. It, 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 look, it looks great. Now, what I will say after that is 81 bosses is a number that I've seen people toss around as like a precise number. However, I haven't seen anything from Game Science themselves or any sort of news publication that has like stamped that. So I'm not going to go with that number. The number that I understand is 80 plus. <laughs> so we don't know how many after the 80, but an 80 is guaranteed. Uh, 160 enemies. I'm going to say approximately 160 enemies. Again, we don't know the true definitive number. We just know that. It's going to be somewhere around that as well. And then there are a ton of, a slew of other things with the game. Please understand that it's mission-based and level-based. Um, from my understanding, there is a story that is being told. It's not going to be told like in a Souls-like sense where, you know, most of it is primarily lore-based. From what I'm understanding is there are cutscenes that's going to be available in the game. There's going to be something that's being actually spoken and told and the journey of the game again i haven't seen official publications specify this but i have heard people mention it uh on in forums like reddit i've heard people mention it in the comments section of this video itself i've heard that you're playing as the destined one but you're not playing as wukong i've seen some people upset about that what i will say again is that we don't know <laughs> they have been tight-lipped a lot about a lot of things and they've just been showing the game and letting the game like impress you but for the most part we don't know we as the individuals who are looking forward to this game we don't fully know the the full context of the story we'll find out when we get the game on august 20th which is i think how you're supposed to do it show the gameplay but in terms of the story give like a give like a brief synopsis and then let the player just roll with it once they get the game. Now, if they do go with the idea of it being two split individuals, Wukong exists within the world and he already finished his journey. And then there's the destined one who is picking up the pieces, of, uh, the pieces of that journey that had took place and all the ramifications that's to come after Wukong did his thing. I think that's dope. I think that would be cool. It just all depends on the execution of the game. Now, as for everything else, I'm excited. I'm going to be playing it. And I hope everybody enjoys it that are looking forward to the game. However, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> and I do know that games like this isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea. However, it's going to appeal to a broad audience. I just hope that at least 75% of those people that play it they enjoy it. That's it. I, I just want success for the company. The company slaved over it and it look it looks good. I hope it plays good. But other than that, you all enjoy the rest of your evening, mornings, afternoons. I am about to play some video games, my goddamn self. But y'all all take care. Catch you on the next one. Deuces.